Hi there, and welcome back to the Mind Power 009 channel. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and today I'm going to show you a really great little uh, screen recording uh, screen recording application. Uh, for those of you with a Mac, uh, you may have seen a lot of people using the Fraps program for uh, recording video games and for recording uh, screencasts and such. And Fraps is a really great program. Uh, I think it runs around 35 38 bucks or something like that. And uh, it, it's a great program. Very versatile. It does a lot of cool stuff. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, it's only for the PC. So for the Mac, uh, we have some other options. And uh, I wanted to show you this. This is kind of this was kind of staggering to me when I went to the App Store to look up screen recorders. I couldn't help but uh, but really you know shake with all of these different options for screen recording applications. And uh, I finally settled down on one particular one, and uh, it's called uh, Screen Record Utility Light. Now I know it sounds like a you know. It sounds like a, a kind of a, a dumbed-down name, but uh, but I want to tell you that uh, it seems like it's doing a great job. Um, I'm not recording with it right now because I want to show you the program in action, and in order to do that, I'm using the uh, QuickTime application, which QuickTime is great for what it is, but there are a lot of things that QuickTime can't capture, and QuickTime tends to store in these gigantor files and you don't necessarily always need gigantor files so uh, with that being said uh, QuickTime serves its purpose but I wanted something that I could do uh, video game captures and also uh, this has another feature that I really like so uh, you can either launch uh, a screen recorder utility uh, light right from the launch pad if you want to uh, there it is, and we can launch it right from there. Um, or it's up here, and you can click on Settings, and it, it sits up here in the taskbar once it's running, and uh, it has all these cool options. You can uh, select the full screen, or you can select custom area, uh, which means that you can you know draw a line from here to here and just record that custom area if you want to. Um, you have presets for you know different uh, resolutions and stuff I like to keep mine high and um, then you have the max frame rate now for like screencasts of like you know regular general apps I would say that you don't really need to have it you know be super high you know I'd say 15 to 20 frames per second is great uh, but for video games I would say just never go below 30 frames a second and if you can afford the the hard drive space, you know, go with something more along the lines of say, you know, well, I guess it doesn't go any higher than 30 frames a second, but 30 frames a second should capture your games. And uh, with this with this program, it has a, a capacity uh, for 300 seconds, so it's gonna automatically stop recording at 300 seconds it just does that with the free version but with the paid version which if we go back over here which I'm almost definitely gonna gonna go with uh, I, gotta, I gotta give this a few more trial runs and I encourage you guys to do the same thing go ahead and do a trial run see how it works see how you like it if it doesn't do what you want it to do of course try something else uh, but the beauty of the uh, the Apple Store is that you know when you uninstall something, it's just gone. So that's cool. You don't have to go try to dig up remnants of it or whatever. Anyway, so uh, over here you have for six ninety nine, you get the same thing minus the time limits. So uh, you get to have unlimited times. You can capture your videos at full screen or any size. Record the audio with a system built-in microphone, computer sound card, or an audio input device. So, like, if you have some kind of a, a device that allows you to uh, take audio from your uh, computer and microphone, you might be able to mix the two, right? So, you know, I have a Tascam device. I'm sure there's a way that I could probably uh, work that out. 
But in the meantime, uh, you can have a separate recording device and actually actually get your computer sound uh, all you know uh, separately. And you know I'm going to probably edit most of my videos that I do this stuff on. Uh, I'm probably not going to edit this video, but but most of the screencast videos I do a lot of editing on. So uh, you can set the video quality by your request. Of course, uh, start, stop recording, pause, resume recording. That means you can you can pause it, wait come back to it and continue recording like after you did some kind of transitional something or other add an image and text logo that means you can put a watermark on your screen uh, which you can't do with QuickTime you can design your own signature logo of course uh, set recording time uh, choose the save path of recording video uh, that that's a cool feature it doesn't just dump it into one place you can see here on this side of the screen that it shows uh, it shows where it's recording at and um, that's where it's set up right now. Uh, you can prevent the display from sleeping during recording. That's kind of cool if you're trying to, you know, uh, capture a stream or something. Uh, making video at a very fast speed. Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe the maybe the the pro version has a higher frame rate. Um, record the screen with no time limit. Sit in the menu bar, which it does up there. I love that. And you can do snapshots. So same thing you can do, you know, with the uh, Command Shift Three, you know, thing you can do a snapshot. But uh, this allows you to do uh, snapshots inside your FPS game. So um, anyway, so just you know, I'm not trying to read the whole thing for you, but but that's just an outline of the features that are on this thing. And I'm not being paid by these guys to to do this. I'm just uh, going with something that I found today and I want to share it with you guys. So um, you also have this cool option. This is the one that I want to talk about right here. You have the audio device. You can use the built-in microphone like I'm doing right now with QuickTime or you can record the computer audio. So on several of my videos, I'd really like to capture, you know, the, all the great sound of, uh, you know, some of the games that I'm doing or I might select, you know, a Tascam recording device. For instance, uh, there's a game that I, I like called Whizball, and I'm going to do a gameplay video of it on my BroBrice64 channel. You guys can check that out. Um, on the BroBrice64 channel, I already did uh, a Whizball fail gameplay video, and um, and by the time you watch this video, uh, you'll also see the, the, the screencast video of uh, my Whizball, the Mac OS X version. So there's a there's another uh, version of the uh, the Whizball game, the Commodore 64 game that they made for the PC and for the Mac, and uh, it's cross-platform. Anyway, I wanted to do a screencast of it, but you know, QuickTime's not going to really capture that video very well. So uh, I wanted to use something that is more geared for you know recording video games and and higher frame rate type stuff uh, without the gigantic files. You can use snapshots in different formats here, JPEGs, bitmaps, TIFFs, PDF, whatever you want. That's kind of cool. Um, and uh, you can have it start the screen uh, recording utility. You can have it automatically start with the operating system. So that's kind of cool. I don't always need it, uh, but that's handy. Anyway, uh, I like the audio thing, the audio uh, options. That's really cool because the QuickTime version doesn't really give you a lot of options. It just gives you the option of basically any uh, input device, you know, your line input or your built-in microphone. And um, it doesn't give you the option to record the computer audio. Um, but w one of the things that I that uh, that I should outline with this is that when you select that record computer audio, it comes up with a separate component that you have to download and uh, they give you a link, direct link to get it and then you go online and you install the uh, you install the component to record the computer audio. It's basically like an added device that you uh, that you end up recording from. So um, with that, anyway, I just want to show you this uh, this program in action. So I'm just going to do a quick record. This is going to be really funny. I'm recording me recording something. So uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, and record this. And then you'll get to hear it play back the audio from the thing that I'm going to record. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, run through here. And uh, this should just eat up hard drive space like crazy. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Uh, stop recording. And it's going to come up and 
it has that piece there. So I'm going to close that part right there and uh, go to settings. I'm going to tell it to record the full screen. Go ahead and, and it has capture the mouse click position. So, all right, so I'm going to record and now I'm going to go ahead and launch Wizball. And uh, we'll do a little tiny bit of gameplay as the hard drive is just being completely hogged up by recording two screencasts at once. It's going to take a minute for this thing to boot up. You can probably hear the music coming up. And uh, just do a quick, quick, quick gameplay. And um, go one player. I'm not going to go into explaining this, but just kind of fire away. Do a little bit of this and that. All right. So once we got there, I'm just going to quit the app right there. And uh, the one, yeah, quit this one. It takes a second to, to recover back to the desktop here. And uh, then I'm going to go up here. It's recorded 45 minutes. And it's got a 300 second limit. So let's stop the recording here. And uh, you can play it back. So you're going to not hear me talking in this. You'll hear, you'll hear me talking here, but... Uh, once the game starts, you'll hear the gameplay actually recording. There it is. So you hear it recording. And uh, like I said, you know, 30 frames a second is maybe not the best. If you had uh, if you had best case scenario, you'd probably be recording at 50 frames a second. And it's struggling a little bit because I'm also doing a screencast of me recording a screencast. Um, but... I tried this earlier and the frame rate was much, much better um, without actually doing a recording of the screencast. So anyway, that is uh, that is Screen Recorder Utility, uh, Screen Record Utility Lite. And uh, the Utility uh, Pro is going to be, of course, it's the one that doesn't say Lite. That one is $6.99. So you got to try it out. You know, give it a try. If you like it, you know, buy it. And uh, so far, it's got pretty good ratings. And I hope that you like this episode of Mind Power. Up here in the top left corner of your screen, you'll probably see a previous video link. Up here in the middle, you'll see subscribe. So if you like these videos, please click subscribe. And then over here on the right side, we have the next video. So when that becomes available, that next video link will uh, take you right there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you like this video. If you do, click that thumbs up button down there. Maybe share it with your friends if you like it. If you think somebody can get some use out of it, share it with them. Have a great day, and I hope to see you next time right here on Mind Power.